Hey everybody, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott, thank you for tuning in today and thank you for your support. Um, if you're new and haven't already, please consider subscribing. Hit subscribe and notification. You'll be sure to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about um, the Prestige series from Analog Productions. Um, I missed out the first time the Prestige series appeared um, several years back and I really wasn't into jazz at that time, so I skipped out on those. But um, it's back, and it's back in print, and uh, there's a lot of great titles. Um, I started with a couple of things that I thought might appeal to me more than uh, others. Um, I really liked Midnight Blue by Kenny Burrell, and I th said, you know, let me try the Kenny Burrell album, this one here, Bluesy Burrell, first and see how I like that and um, go from there. So I chose that in addition to Lightning Hopkins going away. And that one I chose on the basis of Chad's uh, video where he was um, talking about the series and, um, you know, he, he mentioned how it was uh, similar in quality to Muddy Waters' Folk Singer. So I thought, well, that sounds good to me. <laughs> I like that one a lot. And so let's see, you know, let's see how that one is as well. So I started with what, those two. You know, they're a little, a little different than the mainstream jazz of most of what's on the Prestige series label. But um, I wanted to play it safe with things that I thought I would really like. And I'm glad I did. I, I think I love both of these. I think they're great. And I'll tell you a little bit about each of them now. Um, first of all, the series is um, mastered by Kevin Gray, uh, totally analog from the original master tapes. And it's pressed at QRP. Uh, the jackets appear to be by Stoughton. I, I'm not sure. I know that they're using someone else as well um, because of the backup at the pressing plant. Uh, I'm sorry, at the printing plant. So, um, but at any rate, it's they're just as nice as as a Stoughton, if, if they're not Stoughtons um, at all. But uh, this is Bluesy Burrell. It uh, comes in a beautiful glossy jacket. This is on the Moodsville imprint. And that is the Moodsville label. Uh, this is mono. And it sounds wonderful. I was very, very impressed. Um, you know, the, Kenny Burrell is with Coleman Hawkins on this album. Actually, let me tell you who else is on the album. Um, so it's Kenny Burrell on guitar, Coleman Hawkins on tenor sax, um, Tommy Flanagan on piano, Major Holy on bass, Eddie Locke on drums and Ray Barreto appears with congas um, on several tracks. Um, and you notice in the title it says uh, featuring new bossa nova Trace uh, Trey Tal Talbus. Trey Talbus. Trey, Trey Talbus. Um, you think I could pronounce uh, Spanish since <laughs> I. I live in Miami, but um, I'm not that good at it yet. So, um, yeah, overall, it's not all blues. There's there's a couple of blues uh, type numbers, but uh, there's bossa nova, there's other Latin beats, um, there's solo guitar, there's a little bit of everything, and it's all smooth and relaxing and beautiful. Um, the guitars, of course, is recorded very, very well. And Coleman Hawkins is his sax is recorded beautifully. It's very present, very alive. It feels like you're it's right in front of you, and it's a stunning record. Just I'm so delighted that I got this because it I was you know I was getting a little burnt out on the fair that's coming out of Blue Note, and I really wanted a change of pace, and I got it with this one. And this, this kind of music is right up my alley. I like the softer beat, the, um, the guitar, 
the conga. It's just just a beautiful, beautiful record. Um, I can highly recommend it. It's excellent, excellent record. Uh, the recording originally was by Rudy Van Gelder, and uh, he did a great job. It's beautiful. Um, the other record I chose was Going Away, Lightning Hopkins, and uh, also comes the same uh, Stoughton-like cover, very glossy tip-on jacket. This one is on the Bluesville imprint. So I guess neither one was really a prestige uh, release originally, but they're under the prestige label. Um, this one I love. I absolutely love. It's, it is similar in style to Folk Singer, and I loved Folk Singer. To me, this one is the more interesting um, as far as the storytelling and the performance. Um, I know it's probably going to be sacrilege to some people, but I'm not saying the Muddy Waters folk singer is not a, a stellar album, but um, I really like this one for a change. This is my second blues album. Um, I'm glad Chad recommended it. I, I find it fascinating um, and varied. Uh, the arrangements are, are different throughout. And the voice is captured perfectly. It doesn't have quite that dynamic jump that um, that folk singer has. And actually, I like that. It's a little smoother listen, more natural sounding and less hi-fi. But um, again, the sound is exquisite for uh, a recording of this vintage. And it's bare, you know, stripped down blues. And it's wonderful, wonderful record. Um, both pressings were immaculate and they are really hitting it out of the park here. I don't know if they said, you know, this prestige series has to be perfect, but the quality control, at least on what I've seen so far, is immaculate. Just wonderful, wonderful pressings. Centered, quiet right out of the gate. Um, I don't even feel a need to clean them, but I will. But you know, just really, really good work from from QRP. Very, very impressive. And uh, we're so lucky. <laughs> we're so lucky that Chad has created his own plant and done all this, this work for the vinyl uh, community because what he's putting out is amazing. And it's just a gift. It's a gift to us. So, you know, if you are at all interested in the Prestige series, these are two I can recommend that I've heard. Um, I've heard good things about a lot of them, and I'm going to be looking into more as the time goes on. But until then, I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day.